guys. I am uh, at my first leg, um, which is Cincinnati. <sighs> right now, the local time is 5.20 p.m. We are on a maintenance delay. So let me be quick with this. I do start another three-day trip, and let me tell you about it. It is Atlanta to airport code CVG, which is Cincinnati, Ohio. Then it is Cincinnati, Ohio to airport code PHL, which is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. When I get to Philly, I do have a ground time of an hour and 40 minutes, and we are changing planes, okay? So I will be going from Philly to airport code LAS, which is Las Vegas, Nevada. Now when I get to Las Vegas, I do have a 22 hour and six minute layover. So my duty day today is 12 hours and 53 minutes. We're not even counting this delay. It's, it might be given 13 plus, okay? Day two, Las Vegas, the airport code BWI, which is Baltimore, Maryland. When I get to Baltimore, because it's one leg, I have an 11 hour layover. Now that flight is blocked at four hours and 27 minutes. And then day three is Baltimore to Atlanta. The time away from base for this trip it's 55 hours and 8 minutes. Uh, the credit hours are 15 hours and 27 minutes. You guys know I'm working six days in a row. Hunter is also with me on this flight, so I am flying with him. So yeah, first flight, guys, it was an hour and 8 minutes from Atlanta to Cincinnati. Oversold flight. You can see we are on the new A320 Space Flex. And you can tell by these seats, I'm in the exit row. But yes, a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of a delay. That means it's going to eventually, if we don't catch up, cut into my layover. Um, but the Beyonce and the Strong background singers are brand new. This is like their third flight and they are doing wonderful. Of course, I am the most senior, which I don't like, but I understand. I paid my dues. I put in my time. Mama's got to go to work, okay? And that's what she's doing. But this is the look for today. So, this is the chocolate... Um, Two Faced palette. So I have like the red with the shimmer in the inner corner trying to fade. Uh, Y'all know I'll be experimenting, but yes, it's she giving. So this is leg two. So we'll see by the end of this day how this looks. But as of right now, we are going to Philly unless something changes. I don't know. Y'all stay tuned. All right, plane swap on the second plane, guys. Finishing my uh, safety checks and pre flight requirements. We are delayed. It's gonna be over five hours to Vegas. I'm already done. Y'all can see, look it. Yeah, see you guys in Vegas. The local time right now is about 3 a.m. So it is a brand new day. Guys, yesterday was a lot. Three legs. My duty day was a little over 13 hours. So when we arrived in Cincinnati, we had a mechanical that added more time to our next flight. The flight time from Philly to Las Vegas was five hours and nine minutes. Every single flight today was oversold. We were on two aircrafts today because you know we had to do a plane change. Ooh, and I just thought about it. I did not take a picture of the animal on the tail for this last flight. But other than that, it was just a long day, guys. I am tired. I got about 22 hours in Vegas, okay? Right now, I am trying to go to sleep. I took a melatonin. I just wanna relax. I got my heat on. I washed my shirt. I washed my wig. That is hanging up to dry. Now, guys, the handle on my luggage, one side broke because I got too much weight on my J-hook. That is my fault. So today in Vegas, because it's a brand new day, I need to go find a replacement. So I'm gonna spend money. I desperately need to get my nails done and my toes done. <sighs> I just don't know, y'all. Like right now, I'm kinda tired. I'm starving, but I can't eat because I'm trying to maintain my weight loss that I lost. I will be with you later on today because our van time is 9.41 p.m. I have one leg from here to Baltimore where I will have an 11 hour layover. It's crazy. I tell you guys all the time, I do not like long flights. Me personally, I need to get some rest. We will talk later.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today's date, Monday, November the 7th. Right now, the local time is 11 p.m. in Vegas. Right now, I am in the jet bridge awaiting to get on the aircraft. Um, yeah, they just got to clean our aircraft for a second because there was vomit before we get on. But there's a lot that happened today. I went to the premium outlet mall um, here in Vegas with Hunter. Got a new purse. And also, um, I was trying to look for a replacement bag for my luggage. I told you guys my handle broke. I'm going to have to show you when I get to uh, Baltimore here. Uh, right now, it is a little bit of a delay. The flight is blocked at 427, so it's giving about a four-hour flight. Right now, the flight is oversold, going from uh, Baltimore. I'm sorry, going from Vegas to Baltimore. So this is my look for today. My eyeshadow. And I washed this wig, so she's actually looking very healthy right now. But we'll see at the end of this flight because, like I said, it's given about four hours here. <sighs> yeah, trying to uh, be well rested because, again, I broke my nap to go to the mall. So we're going to see how this works. Um, but, yeah, one leg today, 11-hour layover, and then I head to Atlanta in the same day. It's kind of weird. But, guys, I will be with you later. You know, I got to do my safety checks and pre-flight requirements. And we will definitely talk when I eventually arrive in Baltimore, which will be a whole nother day. You guys stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am finally in Baltimore once again, because I was just here a few days ago or a couple of days ago. The local time is 9.22 a.m. All right, and today is what? Tuesday, November the 8th. Oh, it's weird. I come and leave the same day. But the flight time from Vegas to Baltimore, four hours. Yeah, four hours, guys. It was an oversold flight, but we had about a few seats open. So I really didn't have time to fully explain what happened yesterday. So me and Hunter went to a premium outlet mall in Vegas. And there were two things that I was going to the mall for. One was to find some more luggage because I did break the handle on my suitcase. And you guys can see, see that? It broke right here and look at it. So for me to pull it up, I have to push on this thing here. So you guys can see, yeah. Yeah, so it's giving damage right there. And then the second thing was to get my nails done. I have been trying to get these nails done, but when you're working six days in a row, it's really hard to try to fit time to get these things done. I did go to the mall and I did look for other luggage, but it was giving very expensive. Okay, so all the stores that sold luggage, it was either hard shell, which is really hard to close down, four wheels, which is what I don't want, too expensive or it did not meet the requirements that I need since it's a certain size that will fit an overhead bin, right? But I did get a clutch. So guys, I want to explain something. In the early 2000s, I used to wear rock aware, baby fat, house of dairy on, a G unit, apple bottoms, echo red, Sean John, and guess. Guess for me was high end. Guess for me was like Louis Vuitton and they also made their jeans by your waist. So I know I was a 30 back in the day. I'm not a 30 no more in the waist, but so guess for me was the epitome of when I walk into a room, look at me. So I went to the guest store and I did end up buying a clutch because when I go out on a date, when I go anywhere, guys, this is the purse I take and it's actually a purse that I bring to work. This bag here, see how big it is? Look at that, real big. That is the type of bag that I carry with me. I have never invested in a clutch. Now I could have maybe purchased a, you know, Michael Kors purse, Coach. I know we went to the Gucci store, but you guys know I do not like chasing waterfalls. I stick to the rivers, the lakes, the Burlington Coat factories, Amazon, and guest purses that I am used to. And that is what I got. So let me show you. Okay, so this is my clutch. Look at that. So there's like a little bag right here. Ah, this is so cute. So cute, guys. And it has a little strap. And it comes with a little bag. Now, I was calling this bag my condom case, right? 
I did not know this is for your AirPods because I just got an iPhone. My AirPods, which are Android, don't fit, but this is what I'm gonna call my condom bag or condom case. All right, so for that bag, because it was at the, it was at an outlet, I paid, what, $75 for that? As you guys see, 75 bucks. And I also got a cute little wallet because my credit cards, guys. So before I got this wallet, this is where I kept my credit cards, okay? Y'all see that? This is like all messed up. Yeah. So now, I got this. Look at that, this is so cute. Look at, this is what I got. This is so freaking cute. It zips up, so yeah, I am very satisfied. And for that wallet, I paid $20. So I spent about $100. Not bad, like I said. I finally got a clutch at 40. I'm just so behind. Like, uh, what's wrong with me, right? There's a lot of things I need to do, but that's what I got at the mall. Guess it's still all that, I just can't fit it. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick to the clutch because the clutch, that's a one size fit all, okay? There is no body shaming with a clutch. There is no plus size with a clutch, okay? I was walking around in these high-end stores like Dolce & Gabbana, Louis Vuitton store, my guest purse around my waist, like I paid $1,000. And it's like, people look at you, ugh. Can I help you or anything? Are you gonna buy anything? And I was trying to tell Hunter, like this is your type of thing, not mine. I am very happy with my guest purse, okay? Very, very happy with that. But, but the thing that I got was act your wage. And that's what I was doing. One leg today, Baltimore to Atlanta. It's gonna be like an hour, maybe 40 minute flight. But I had a little breakfast, my little oatmeal. I am a little tired and I am going to try to go to bed because me going to the mall with Hunter, it just messed me up all the way. So guys, I will be with you in a few hours when I am getting back up to head back to base. Again, it's the same day, that's what's throwing me off. But I know before I leave, I have got to order from Nando's. I think that's what that place is called. I'm telling y'all, Baltimore, Nando's baby. All right guys, on the aircraft, another A320 Space Flex, one leg going to Baltimore. Not a full, full flight, but we'll see the final check-in numbers. Um, it's the same date. Tuesday, what, November the 7th? I believe, ooh, election, right? Election's coming up. Y'all need to vote? But yeah, that's what's going on. So guys, I just did my safety checks and pre-flight requirements. Again, one and done. Hey, Hunter, see you in Atlanta. Where you at? Yeah, we'll see you in Atlanta. This is my roommate, too. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, been back at the crash pad. It is actually the ninth. The flight time from Baltimore to Atlanta, an hour and 22 minutes on an A320 Space Flex. We were a little over halfway full and I'm very happy to be back. I've worked six days in a row and now I have two days off uh, starting today. And there's a lot that I need to do. I need to get my nails done. I have to do my schedule for December. I'm trying to make my schedule for November better. For I have to meal prep again. And I also need to go to Boost Mobile to transfer my number to this iPhone. So there is so much I have to do with the two days that I have off. So I've been up and I'm trying to unwind. I uh, took some melatonin. It is starting to kick in finally. Uh, Cause right now it's around 3 a.m., okay? Surprisingly, I am in this room by myself. Like I said, the new girl that sleeps in the bottom bunk that Nini used to sleep is not here. But we'll see what's going on because my best friend's birthday is coming up. She is celebrating in Vegas. And I don't know if I can make it because my schedule. So I'm trying to build my schedule to get more hours so that I can make some real money. Because I do know my sweet spot is about 120 hours a month. I'm telling you, strategically, I have to think about this, right? I cannot go to Vegas and spend money if I'm not making the money because what I do in that month affects me for the next month. That is the reason why I'm trying to fly. So it's given six days in a row because these trips out here and my seniority so far hasn't been very good. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to go to bed. So I thank you for coming with me to Vegas where I got me a guest purse. 
did some sightseeing of things I couldn't afford, had a good time, and I was hanging out with Hunter, and then a very, very short layover in Baltimore. But that was a good time too, because I had the front desk cracking up. But ladies and gentlemen, I will be with you in two days because I have a trip going to Cleveland. It's a two day trip, but thank you guys for coming with me. I love you Ford Explorers, old and new, and I will talk to you later.